Uh, my name is Nick DeMora, and I am the creative director and choreographer for Justin Bieber's Purpose Tour. I just started off as a dancer, like everybody else, and I uh, just like trained. I grew up in south of Boston, uh, and then when I was 18 years old, I got a scholarship to go to LA and do this uh, Monsters of Hip Hop show. And I went there only planning to go for two weeks, and I had like $500 in my pocket. I was like, I'm going for two weeks. I was 18. And I uh, ended up just staying in LA, I was living on the couch, figuring it out, taking the bus everywhere. And then, uh, yeah, about like a year and a half, two years in, it all kind of started clicking and started teaching and choreographing and did my first tour then for Kiki Palmer. Definitely, definitely more than just being a good dancer. There's, there's a lot of talented people in the world, but the, it's, it's those who work the hardest that get the most success, I think. And for me, I think I do work really hard in everything I do. Uh, I, I work all the time. Every break we have, I do work. Instead of going on vacation, I work. Like, I'll choose work over, like, a vacation I had planned. In the dance world, it started off with, you know, breaking, popping, locking, waving, you know, all that stuff. And now it's evolved and then it keeps evolving to all these different styles and genres. And some people will just hate on it and not and get left behind. Well, I think you just need to uh, be encouraged by it and, and absorb it and, and transform yourself as everything transforms. When dancing becomes your job, you really have to like check yourself every once in a while because you could be getting off a 24 hour travel day and going straight to a sound check, straight to a three hour show, straight to a plane, to another 12 hour travel, to another show, you know? And it becomes tiring and exhausting on your body and you gotta like wake yourself up and be that performer even though you're exhausted. Um, acting, it was something, acting was something I was really pursuing at one point and I just, uh, People kept telling me I was like naturally good at it, but I, still, I was still training in it for a while, but um, my career just kind of went in a different direction. So I just kind of went with like this whole like production designing, creative directing and acting is cooling. I, th I, think, I think I like creating better than performing. I don't know why, I don't know. I, I mean, I love both, but I think I like seeing my design somewhere as opposed to being the person on the stage doing it. I don't know if that makes sense, yeah, but that makes any sense to people. Some people like to be the face of everything, but for me, I like to be behind the scenes, you know, and create everything. And whether people know or not, they, it's up to them, you know. Um, so my next move is I'm starting like a full like tour production company. So. Uh, Justin's tour, the Purpose Tour, is only the second tour I've fully designed. So uh, I just don't think people know that I'm doing that yet, even though like, I'm doing it. Uh, I got nominated this year for Designer of the Year, and so like I think I'm, I'm gonna just start focusing on that. So I'm starting, I gotta get like my website and my company name and all that stuff built up, but I'm just gonna have like a one-stop shop for like artists to come build a whole tour design and a whole show. I do. I have my own clothing line. I just released it like a, a month ago. It's called Demora. You can go to demoraclothing.com. Check it out. Ship worldwide. Um, yeah, it's like athletic. Uh, it's like high fashion fitness wear for dancers. It was, you know, inspired by the dance community and how we like to dress and how I like to dress. But very cut and sewing. It's good material. You know, it's 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 another thing I was trying to do. Yeah. Anyone can understand movement. You know. So. Um, I don't know, like growing up, I took a lot of workshops, right? And it was those workshops that made me into the dancer and choreographer I am today. And so I just want to give back as much as possible and or keep inspiring people. I think that's important. Um, like, it's funny because, like, you know, when people, some say, like, oh, they're copying this person or they're copying that person. But, like, at the end of the day, like, it's your job to inspire those people who will then may copy you, but that's that's what you're there for. You're there to inspire someone to want to be like you and then hopefully they take what they learn from you and evolve it hopefully, but. I don't know, I remember doing like my first tour and when I did my first tour, I was just like, man, I want to be the guy who creates this thing, you know, or even watching my first tour from back in the day. I didn't even know, you know, when I was younger watching tours, I didn't know how they were made. Then once I figured out how they were made and built and put together, like it's that behind the scenes process that I love the most. I don't know why. The the the, the three to four months of 
prepping and rehearsing for a tour is my almost my favorite part. I don't sleep, I just work 20 hours a day, but it's like my favorite part. Yeah, negativity is a funny, it's a funny thing to me. I feel bad for people who, who are negative. You know what I mean? I feel so bad for them because to me, I, I could truly not give a damn whether someone likes me or doesn't like me. It literally, it just doesn't even bother me. Like bad comments, hating, all this stuff. Like, I don't understand how it even affects other people. Like, I mean, I can, I can get it. I don't wanna, I don't wanna like say, this is just for me personally, but like even like, like online bullying and like this big epidemic of like bullying we have, whether it's like in person or online that's affecting people. Sometimes it doesn't make sense to me because I, I, I've been, you know, bullied as a kid or everyone, everyone's been bullied, right? You never, not everyone's always the coolest person wherever they go. But I just really don't care. Like, I, I don't care. It's so weird. I remember like when I first started choreographing, my style was very different at the time before like everyone started like moving all weird to music and hitting a lot of lyrics and all this stuff. And then I remember people used to tell me my stuff was whack all the time. And like I would have no one in my class when I first started teaching. And then I, people would always say all these things like you should just dance like everyone else. And I was like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not following that trend. I'll never be able to be that choreographer. I'll have to be my own. You know what I mean? So that was like my goal. And then a year later, my class is packed. A year later, I'm traveling the world. A year later, I'm on tour with Bieber. Like, you know what I mean? I think if you just stay true to yourself and not care what anyone thinks, people will either like it or not like it. Because at the end of the day, everything is just opinion. There's no right or wrong in, in art. That's, that's, that's really tough. I, it's one of my biggest things when I hire people for tours because 95% of the time we're not on stage. We're traveling together, we're living together at the hotel, we're eating dinner together, uh, we're at the arena together. And then you perform for two hours, you know, once every three days, you know? So the dancing part of being on tour is only 10% of your time, possibly, maybe less. It's probably like 2% realistically. So yeah, like your reputation goes a long way. And in LA, like it's a big dance community, but it's also very small and everyone knows everybody. So like one bad, you know, comment from someone can ruin your career, you know, if you're not a good person. There's plenty of people out there who are so talented, but I would never hire based off their personality. I just don't think they're good people or they're rude or whatever they are. You know what I mean? And sometimes a, a, a nice person will get a job over a better dancer. Well, it's funny because I was just telling the dancers in my class today, I said, you should be here trying to outdance me. Because if you ever came to LA when I was a dancer, you would have to outdance me to get the job that I'm on, if that makes sense. I think you're supposed to dream as big as possible. I think you just gotta keep setting goals for your life or else your life will become stagnant and I don't want that to happen.